Hey folks, look where I am. I'm at church because I just love these stones. Isn't this beautiful? A church made out of stones. It just looks so nice. But guess what? They're dead. They're, they're, they're not, they can't do anything except be there. I bring that up because of the second reading for today from 1 Peter. In that reading, as believers in Jesus, it says we are living stones, living for our Lord and Savior Jesus, who is our cornerstone. He holds us together. I mean, here we are at the cross as well. And it's because of what Jesus did on the cross for us, dying in our place and, and winning the victory for us and, and paying the price so our sins could be forgiven, that we can live in him. So we are living stones. But you'll see in our first reading from Acts chapter 6 and from chapter 7, that ministry is not for a select few. Ministry is for all of God's people, all the living stones who can do ministry and be the hands and feet of Jesus for him. So here at the church, dead stones, but we are the living stones who do ministry for him. You'll see that in the text as the disciples had to select others who would help in the ministry. And then in our gospel reading from John 14, it says that the Lord is leaving to go and prepare a place for us in heaven because we believe in him. We have eternal life. So folks, no matter what happens to us, no matter what we go through and no matter what we experience, we can be Christ living stones. He is our cornerstone. He sees us through all situations. And even when we physically die, we will be with him because he's prepared a place for us. What a tremendous God that we have.